Once upon a time, the initials in the cable network TLC stood for the Learning Channel. But who wants to learn when you can watch wacky reality TV shows? Hi folks, and welcome to The Binger. In this video, we're looking at some of the downright strange rules that TLC producers force their subjects to follow. We all love music. We listen to music in the car, at the gym, at work, at home, and when we go out. It's almost like we can't live without it. But the stars of TLC's reality shows must do exactly that, at least while the cameras are on. The inclusion of recorded music in a TV show can be an expensive proposition for producers. According to a 2012 New York Times article, TV producers can pay up to $100,000 to license a current pop song. Lionsgate, the producers of the TV show Mad Men, licensed an original recording of the Beatles' 1966 song Tomorrow Never Knows. The price tag? A quarter of a million dollars. With most reality shows operating on a shoestring budget, producers will do everything that they can to avoid paying such expensive music licensing fees. With this in mind, they discourage cast members from playing, singing, or performing any music that would cost them these fees. A wedding is supposed to be one of the happiest occasions in life, so a wedding dress is supposed to be perfect for the bride. But what if what's perfect for the bride isn't perfect for the producers of a reality show? Guess who wins that debate? On Say Yes to the Dress, brides don't always get what they want. According to one bride-to-be, the show's consultants quote, prioritized their bottom line, not how your bottom looks in a mermaid-style number. In what could be considered another conflict of interest, Kleinfeld, the posh New York bridal store featured in the show, carries several dresses by Israeli designer Panina Tornai. Brides on the show will often try on at least one Tornai creation and may be influenced to pick a Tornai dress over the others. Brides are also encouraged to try on as many dresses as possible even if they've already made their choice. The different dresses allow producers to get reactions from family members to stir up the dramatic tension and bring in more viewers. If you've ever felt that the words and actions of your favorite TLC reality show stars are more scripted than pro wrestling, then you might be onto something. TLC reportedly employs numerous writers, directors, and producers to coach participants into delivering lines. These lines can be either paraphrasing the cast member's previous statements or sometimes just made up to create more dramatic tension. In a June 2019 article in Women's Health Daily, a member of the cast of 90 Day Fiancé stated that producers fed him lines to create an awkward situation. In the episode, Chris Theinman and his wife Nikki Cooper met Chris's friend David Toborowski and David's fiancé Annie in Annie's native Thailand. During the meeting, Chris suggests that Annie give him a Thai massage in exchange for letting the couple stay with him in the US. The scene comes across as creepy, disrespectful, and even racist. However, Nikki insists that the producers fed Chris the line just to stir up more drama. Yes, the awkward scene of Chris asking for a massage was scripted, Cooper said in a 2017 Facebook post. We were fed our lines while sitting at the table, which is why no one reacted. We all knew what to expect. In 2008, TLC launched one of its earliest hit reality TV shows, 17 Kids and Counting. The show profiled Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, an Arkansas couple and their 17 children. Over the next few years, the Duggars would have two more children, all with the letter J as their first initial, and all would be featured in 19 Kids and Counting. One of those children, adult son Josh Duggar, would be accused of assaulting young female relatives, including four of his sisters, when he was a teenager. The accusation led several sponsors to pull their ads from 19 Kids. Shortly after the network canceled the show, Josh admitted to being unfaithful to his wife and to joining an adult website that promoted infidelity. Since then, the network has launched shows with the next generation of Duggars and their growing broods. In those shows, producers refuse to run any footage of interactions between cast members and Josh. In June 2019, Josh and other family members attended the funeral of Josh's paternal grandmother, Mary Duggar. TLC cameras were on hand to record the ceremony, but producers turned them off when Josh delivered his eulogy. The network also has an unwritten rule about stars of one show taking shots at cast members of another show on the network. 
Producers had to step in when the star of one of the 19 Kids spinoffs used social media to go after the star of another TLC show. In August of 2017, the network was promoting two new shows, Counting On, a 19 Kids spinoff featuring Jill Duggar and her new husband Derek Dillard, and I Am Jazz, a show featuring Florida teen Jazz Jennings and her ongoing gender transition. Dillard took exception to the network promoting a show about a transgender person. What an oxymoron. A reality show which follows a non-reality. Transgender is a myth. Gender is not fluid. It's ordained by God. Dillard tweeted in August of 2017. Shortly after the tweet, the network released a statement saying that Dillard's opinion does not represent the views of TLC and that they had no plans to feature Dillard in the future. Dillard maintained that he and Jill left the show on their own due to a contract dispute. They won't tell you that I was fired, because I wasn't, he tweeted in April 2018. We wanted to leave, and they didn't want us to. That's the truth. Speaking of Twitter, many reality TV show producers reportedly keep an eye out for the social media posts of their cast members. Since TLC's lineup largely consists of family-friendly and positively themed shows, producers reportedly want the social media posts of their stars to reflect these values. These posts also give the fans instant access to cast members, so producers have a vested interest in making sure that the cast members stay on message. For instance, one of the couples featured in 90 Day Fiancé was American teen Avery and her Syrian boyfriend Omar. The couple has a joint Instagram account where they post photos and videos to share with fans of the show. Avery also has her own Twitter account where she answers questions about Islam, Syria, and her favorite makeup. These posts, as well as those from other couples, often mirror the theme producers want to show viewers. Love conquers religion, race, distance, and family objections. Some cynical viewers might think that the couples featured on 90 Day Fiancé head straight to divorce court as soon as the cameras stop rolling. Others might think that the foreign-born spouse is just using the American-born partner for an easy path to U.S. citizenship. While the show features more than its fair share of marital discord, the relationships featured here can't be dissolved by a quickie divorce. This rule doesn't stem from producers' desire for drama, but the U.S. immigration law. The 90 days reflects the time limit the U.S. government places on arranging the marriage between an American-born partner and a foreign-born spouse. After the wedding, the foreign-born spouse gets a conditional green card, allowing them to become a lawful permanent resident of the United States, but not automatically become a citizen. The green card can also start the foreign-born spouse on the path to U.S. citizenship. According to the U.S. Customs and Immigration Service, a foreign-born spouse living in material union with the U.S. citizen spouse for three years can apply for citizenship. The foreign-born spouse must still complete the citizenship application process while still staying married to their American-born partner. The spin-off show, 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, depicts these and other struggles couples face in their new relationships and new surroundings. Reality shows attempt to bring viewers behind the scenes to show them what really goes on behind closed doors. But what if those doors are closed for a reason? Many TLC reality shows put their cast members in what can charitably be described as compromising positions. On Say Yes to the Dress, brides change into one wedding dress after another, however they're often not the only ones in the changing room. Not only does the consultant check out the fit and the style of the dress, but a camera operator also joins the bride in the changing room as she strips down to her underwear. The show uses female camera operators where possible, and images of the bride in her underwear never make it on air. For most people, a daily hygiene routine is hardly worth filming. For producers of the TLC reality show My 600 Pound Life, bathroom and shower scenes are an entertainment staple. Many of these scenes involve the patient's loved ones moving rolls of fat to clean their private parts. Other scenes show patients bathing outside because they can't fit in their own bathtubs. From 19 Kids to Tyler's and Tiara's to John and Kate Plus 8, shows featuring children have been a centerpiece of the TLC reality show Empire. Viewers might imagine that since these pint-sized prima donnas bring in big ratings for the network, they also bring in big bucks for the family. The fact is, though, that most producers reportedly don't pay the children for their appearances on these shows. A June 12th article on Radar Online revealed that producers for Tyler's and Tiara's don't pay the young children that appear in their pageants. The anonymous source quoted in the story said that the producers seek out unique stories that draw in viewers. 
They don't even pay for the family's entry fees into the pageants, the source told Radar. But the moms do it because it's good exposure for their little girls, and that's exactly what they want. Producers can cast their entire season without paying a talent fee. It is brilliant. Unlike other networks, TLC typically focuses its reality show lens on families that may be considered middle class. Instead of countesses and Kardashians, TLC shows feature families that their audiences can find relatable. One way the network maintains this image is to ensure that the cast members don't go on wild spending sprees. Many episodes of 19 Kids feature ways in which Jim, Bob, and Michelle maintain such a full household on a limited budget, from hand-me-downs to brown bag lunches. When the families featured on these shows take a vacation, the show might pick up the tab as long as they are allowed to shoot the whole movies. When John and Kate Plus 8 shot a two-part episode in Hawaii in 2008, TLC paid for the trip. The result was one of the show's highest rated episodes. Every great story needs an antagonist, the character whom the hero must vanquish to achieve their dreams. In movies, TV shows, comic books, and other media, the lines between heroes and villains are often crystal clear. In the real world, those lines aren't so sharply drawn. People can be heroic one day and then villainous the next, so what's a reality show producer to do? Enter the villain edit. Producers can often catch the worst aspects of a cast member, edit them together, and make that person seem like the lowest form of life on the planet. One of TLC's most visible targets of the dreaded villain edit was Kate Goslin, the mother of twins and sex tuplets featured in the network's hit show John and Kate Plus 8. As the Goslin's marriage crumbled in front of the cameras, many episodes depicted Kate as a selfish narcissist only interested in self-promotion. The editing process also made John look like a henpecked husband at the mercy of his domineering, career-minded wife. Since the producers are in charge of crafting the show's storylines, cast members have no say in how they're depicted. This aspect of these programs just goes to show there's nothing faker than a reality show. So, what do you think about these rules? Are they worth the price of fame? Let us know in the comments section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your reality show fanatic friends, and subscribe to The Binger to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.